Thinking about putting a metal roof on your house, but not sure what panels you're gonna use? The first step is choosing your fastening system. There are two types, concealed and exposed. And today, we're gonna compare these two to see which one is best in a variety of categories, ranging from cost, ease of installation, weather tightness, and more. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying Factory Direct. Visit westernstatesmetalroofing.com to find the right material for your project. You can find a downloadable guide of all the information discussed today in the description below. Hey guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to our channel, or welcome if you're new here. So as I said earlier, today we're gonna go over one of the biggest decisions you're gonna make when choosing your metal panels, and that is your fastening system. And to help me explain it is the Vice President of Western States Metal Roofing, Paul Rubio. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, glad to be here. So this is a huge decision that homeowners have to make because it really does affect the performance of the roof. Why is that? Well, when you're considering an exposed fastener versus a concealed system, really what it comes down to is a balance and act between performance and price. So when you have an exposed fastener panel, such as a corrugated or an R panel, they're gonna be held in place by a bunch of these small fasteners. And what that means is you're gonna have thousands of screw penetrations. The screw is gonna go through the panel and into your substrate. When you have thousands of screws, it's, I mean, it's inevitable. Some screws might be over-tightened. You might have a couple screws under-tightened, and that's gonna be a potential leak point. Um, on the flip side of the equation, a standing seam panel, you have a clip, and the fasteners will not actually penetrate the panel. This clip will sit on top of the panel, just like so, and then what you'll do the next panel will just simply snap in place. Here's the big advantage of this is that you don't have any screws that penetrate the panel. So that's huge. No screw holes, no leak points. And that means a lot less maintenance down the road also. Right. Uh, coming back to the expansion and contraction, a standing seam panel is designed so that it can move. It's not pinned in place with these screws. So when you have the when it when you have the expansion, the panel itself moves so you don't have the problem of the screws backing themselves out. So also I think because we're talking about leak points, it seems like maybe there are certain climates where you would almost rather have the standing seam panel because you won't have as potential for leaks. Yeah, the harsher the climate, the greater the reason to, to use a standing seam panel. Now, I don't, I don't want to dissuade you from using an exposed fastener panel. What I would say is, if you're going to use an exposed fastener panel, use a high quality underlayment. Um, uh, like a, we use shark skin, for example, but you want to use a nice synthetic underlayment. The underlayment is critical with both panels, but even more so with the corrugated, because again, if you get a little bit of water coming through those screw holes, that's an extra layer of protection for you. So when we're talking about weather tightness between the two panels, which to you is the winner? Yeah, there's a clear winner. Standing seam takes this one. All right, standing seam. So since we were just talking about clips and fasteners, I guess that brings us to our next topic, which is installation. Now there's some pretty big differences between these two panels, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, with an exposed fastener panel, it's 36 inches wide, whereas a um, standing seam panel is typically 12 inches to 18 inches. So right from the beginning, you have to install twice as many panels. Uh, another key consideration is the trim. Uh, trim on a standing seam is much more difficult to install. So for example, with an exposed fastener panel, let's say a ridge cap, it's just simply a ridge cap. When you have a standing seam panel, the trim works as a system. So you have a ridge cap and two Zs three pieces of, tin, of trim, which takes a lot longer to install. Consequently, it's gonna cost a lot more to install a standing seam when compared to um, an exposed fastener panel. So the exposed fastener panel sounds like a lot simpler, so it's probably a little more convenient for our DIYers out there that they wanna take on the installation themselves. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think any DIYer that's watched the proper videos and is pretty handy could handle a, um, an exposed fastener installation. On the other hand, um, 
I, I don't know that I would feel too comfortable with a DIY or install and standing seam without any experience. It's not something you want to mess up. <laughs> no, you don't want to screw up, your, especially at your conditions like a valley and such, you don't want to mess up those conditions. So between the two, who do you think is the winner when it comes to Clear switching? winner, um, exposed fastener panel. All right. So we realize when you're making a big purchase like a metal roof, one of your biggest concerns is going to be cost. And obviously there's a big difference between cost and these two panels, right? Yeah, that's the biggest pain point when you want to use a standing seam. So a standing seam will cost you about double. Uh, generally you're looking at about $8 to $14 a square foot installed for standing seam. And an exposed fastener panel will cost you typically $5 to $8 a square foot. So why is that? It comes down to a few things. That starts with installation. It takes significantly longer to install a standing seam. You'll need more trim. Typically need two to three times the amount of trim on a job with the standing seam panel. And the other, the other important thing is the quality of the material. So with a standing seam, you're purchasing a lifetime roof. You have the best of the best and everything is designed as a system to last 40 to 60 plus years. You have a heavy gauge, typically 24 gauge. You have the best paint system, Kynar. And you have concealed fasteners. So that all adds up to really, it's the gold standard of metal roofing. All right, so that justifies standing seam. So then what about corrugated? Well, again, corrugated is so much easier to install. The, the panels are twice as wide. They install quicker, less trim. But um, also, it's, you have so many more options with a corrugated. You can go as light as a 29 gauge, as heavy as a 20 gauge. You can use a lesser quality paint system. So when you combine all those reasons, it's just a much more cost effective panel. So when it comes to cost between these two panels, who's the winner? Exposed fastener panel will be significantly cheaper. Another big concern you might have about your roof is maintenance. So let's talk about maintenance for a standing seam roof. Sure, with, uh, with the standing seam roof, there's very little maintenance. It's a set it and forget it kind of roof. Really all you need to do is keep it free of debris and periodically have it inspected. Sounds easy to me. That's the easiest of all of them. So what about corrugated? Uh, corrugated's a little, little different. Um, again, you need to keep it free of debris and have regular inspections, but the key difference is the, the fasteners. As we talked about earlier with the expansion and contraction, you just periodically have to check your fasteners, make sure that none of them have broken off or that none of them have backed off. All right, so just an occasional inspection. Yeah, an occasional inspection of the fasteners. So between the two, who's the winner? Standing seems the winner on this one. Something you might not have thought of when choosing out your metal panels is your roof slope, because roof slope plays a part, right, in the type of panels you can use? Yeah, it can if you have a uh, low slope or a flat roof. So if your roof slope is 3 and 12 or greater, it doesn't really matter. Either panel would be fine. Mm -hmm. Where it's an issue is if you have a roof slope that, let's call it 1 and 12 and up to 3 and 12. In that case, a mechanically seamed standing seam would be a better panel. So why is that? It comes down to the panel side lap. Um, with a mechanically seamed panel, it's a double lock system and it's just going to be more weather tight. So when it comes to roof slope, who's the winner? Standing seam. All right. All right, so now let's talk about panel strength. Paul, does the framing of your structure make a difference in the type of panel you can use? Uh, yeah, it does. So if you have a typical roof on your house, uh, it's going to sit on a plywood substrate. And in that instance, if you're comparing gauge for gauge, both would be appropriate. Although an exposed fastener is a stronger panel, they're both appropriate for the situation. Where it's going to be an issue is if you are spanning from support to support, say, say a canopy in your backyard, for example. Uh, an exposed fastener panel can span much further than a um, concealed fastener panel. All right, so when it comes to panel strength, who's the winner? Oh, um, exposed fastener. One of the most important parts when picking out your roof is how it looks. So Paul, aesthetics are really important to people. What's the differences when it comes to standing seam and exposed? Well, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but when we talk to our clients, they generally prefer standing seam. Um, the consensus is that it's more modern looking, it's sleeker, mm -hmm. and um, it's just more universally thought to be a nicer looking panel. Uh, also, another important thing is you're going to have more color options to choose from with the standing seam. You can virtually match any feature on your house and, and choose any color that, that you desire. 
And what about um, when it comes to oil canning? Is that an issue with either of these panels? Uh, it could be. Uh, with an exposed fastener panel, you, you don't need to worry about oil canning. With the standing seam panel, uh, on some jobs, you could potentially have oil canning. So when it comes to aesthetics between the two panels, who's the winner? Standing seam. So Paul, I see solar panels everywhere. I mean, energy efficiency is very important right now. How do solar panels stack up with these two panels? Yeah, so with the standing seam system, the solar panels, there's a clamp that will sit right on the, um, right on the lap of the panel, mm -hmm. and you can install the solar panel without actually putting holes within your standing seam. So um, how does corrugated do with solar panels? You don't see solar panels that often on corrugated. You'll have to put penetrations through the panel and again that creates more leak points. So if you are going to put stand, uh, solar panels on your roof, um, standing seam will be a much more weather tight system. Now speaking of weather tightness, let's talk about snow country. When it comes to snow retention systems, how do these panels stack up? It's the same thing. Um, the, clamps are, the clamps will sit on top of the standing seam and you can install snow retention without putting um, holes within your panel. and. It's the opposite with the corrugated. You'll have to put holes within the panel to attach your snow retention systems. So if you're going to use a snow retention system or solar panels, which panel do you recommend? I'm going to say it's a tie on this one. So we can see that each panel has its unique benefits. Let's sum it up to see which fastening system is the best fit for you. So let's start with exposed. When is it best to use it? So the two main reasons to use an exposed fastener system is when you want the most economical panel and if you were installing it yourself. A couple other considerations would be, um, is it a canopy where it's spanning from purlin to purlin? Mm -hmm. An exposed fastener system would be better. Or possibly if you have a really small job, um, you know, if you have a small job, you could probably pick up a few corrugated sheets at Home Depot or something along those lines. All right, so what about standing seam? So standing seam's best when you have a larger budget mm -hmm. and when you want the best roofing system that you can purchase. Uh, some other considerations would be, it's less maintenance, and finally, your roof slope. If your roof slope is less than three and 12, standing seam would be better. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. And for all the information we talked about today, you can find it in a downloadable guide in the description box below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments for us. We'll see you next time.